Well, hey, good morning, guys. Uh, things in NFTs certainly throttling back here in the past 24, 48 hours. You've certainly felt it, whether it's spring break, whether it's people pulling back, waiting for the Bitcoin halving. You've almost certainly felt that people have pulled back on social media, on X. But of course, in NFT sales, we're not seeing a lot of big new mints, and we're not seeing a lot of secondary action. Of course, today we're getting into all of that. By the way, we're starting here with a look at a new Nice Aunties piece. This is called How to Make a Snack. I told you guys when Nice Aunties drops anything, we're showing it here. It's how we're kicking off the show and like always it's as wonderful as it is bizarre love this stuff now guys before we get in hope you caught the live show yesterday because yes we're still hitting it seven days a week over on inside nfts so make sure you subscribe here to inside nfts right here on youtube and also follow over on x also over on x my friend and my co-worker here scott well he's giving away some whitelist spots to the crypto slam nft collection so if you've not won your spot yet you got to follow scott here and you just follow like retweet his tweet you still got a few hours left so make sure you get into that and then obviously you got to be following Crypto Slam over on X. A lot of big news dropping here soon. So let's get into the damn show and we'll start with a look at the Forecast 500 NFT index. You can see that we have lost some value here in the NFT market down 0.58% in the past 24 hours. But you can see here more recently close to flat and we've certainly broken that massive skid we saw last week. Remember the seven day stretch last week we were down over 11%. Now stabilizing quite a bit. And if I zoom out to the 30 days you really do see that skid here and then the stabilization here on the right side of this chart. Now, we stabilized because actually floor prices have stabilized here. You see, in the past seven days, a lot of the major collections actually are up in floor prices. Past 24 hours, kind of a mixed bag. Crypto, on the other hand, well, those major tokens, they're all down in the past seven days. So rising floor prices, falling crypto prices, they kind of offset each other here. And it's why the value of the NFT market is holding rather flat now. Now, NFT sales in the past couple days here, it is a little concerning. You can see Friday, just 28.6 million in sales. Yesterday, 28.4 million in sales. And these are two of our lowest days of sales this year. More concerning though, and you know what, maybe that's not the perfect word, but more noteworthy here is unique sellers yesterday at 26,000. Well guys, I'm scrolling back and back and back, and I'm having trouble finding a lower day. In fact, I have to go all the way back to 2021 to find similar numbers here. Now there's a chance some of this data is still processing, but what I really think is happening is traders are throttling back. I'm going to get into why in just a moment here. First, I want to take a peek at the weekly numbers here too. The data period for the current week we're in, well, this will end in about 12 hours here this evening. And as of right this moment, 236 million in sales. So clearly we're not going to finish with our lowest week of sales in 2024, but we are pretty darn low and we likely will finish as the fourth or fifth lowest sales for the year. Now we'll get deeper into that tomorrow when the data period closes, but for now, probably not surprising. Again, you have felt this here, especially the past few days. Now, as far as what's moving the market here in the past 24 hours, got the general ordinals collection at the top. That's followed by the node monkeys, D market, howdy hats over on Solana, the Fraganas, pudgy penguins, gods unchained, the Board Ape Yacht Club, Mad Lads, and Pandora rounds out your top 10. And Bitcoin is your top blockchain by sales volume, just over 9 million in sales here in the past 24 hours. And wow, we've had some really big sales here, including this Mad Lad that sold for 1,000 soul. Guys, $173,000. And then never a surprise to see a crypto punk up here. 50 ETH sale, $169,000. Now over on Bitcoin, Runestone technically is your top selling collection actually across any blockchain. In the past 24 hours, about 3.5 million in sales. And we also have a new collection called Game of blocks. This is another big supply collection. I'm talking about 80,000 pieces here. And these were airdropped to random Bitcoin wallets. Looks like holders are in for a game here very similar to Chainface's Arena by Nate Alex over on ETH. So we'll be keeping our eyes over on that. High volume collection, just very low prices here at 0.002 Bitcoin. But let's see if the community rallies around that game there. It does look kind of fun. So clearly on Bitcoin, people still enjoying collecting ordinals, trading ordinals. But on Ethereum, things just tread in water. On Solana, we've seen it here the past few weeks. Everyone's into the meme coin mania over there still. And you see here DGen News reporting that Solana surpassed 50 billion in volume for the first time ever. And that's on DEXs, almost entirely about that meme coin craze. So the question is, will a lot of that liquidity flow to NFTs over on Solana? Or do these new multi-chain wallets like the Magic Eden wallet that make it so easy to go from Solana to Bitcoin to Ethereum? Well, does that help liquidity exit the Solana ecosystem and moves it right over to wherever else the money is? My hunch is that's what's going to happen. As far as when the broader NFT market's going to see some type of major turnaround a major recovery. I don't know, guys. Might be a while here. Because coming up next week, we have NFT NYC. And typically during and directly after these big events, we really see the NFT market slow down. So as slow as it is now, does it really have that much further that it could slow down? Potentially, yes. But also expecting that we get some big announcements here at NFT NYC. So could be a little X factor here. But in my opinion, the biggest reason for this slowdown here is everybody pausing, waiting for the Bitcoin halving here in 22 days. Because really, people think we have some instability coming to the crypto market still. 
still. I see a lot of analysts expecting a 30% pullback in the Bitcoin price even still. Possible we'll see $45,000, $50,000 Bitcoin again. So with an event as significant as the halving coming here, you have a lot of NFT traders who just don't want to be locked up in NFT positions right now. Because if the crypto market and the NFT market tank even further, well, you're stuck in that NFT or you're taking a huge loss. Either way, you're not getting any upside here in the short term, most likely. Now, our Sunday show here, bookended by art, starting with nice aunties, and I got a special one to show you here at the end. But before we get to that, got to show you a couple significant drops that are live right now and then one tomorrow. Starting with Sense that arrives tomorrow over on the Gamma Art platform. Guys, if you can find a whitelist to get into this collection, I highly recommend this. My friend English yesterday put it perfectly. This is the next Floriforms because it is a 10K collection and it is coming from a significant artist in Pindar. So I'm going to share this tweet over in the comments over on YouTube because you do still have a chance to get in. And guys, this is basically a free drop. It's just one sat. So basically you're paying just to inscribe this. So do your best to get into this whitelist. You will get two mints for your whitelist spot. And again, that collection comes from the incredible Pindar Van Arman, someone I really hope you recognize from the ETH art scene. Of course, a phenomenal super rare artist here. And with these noteworthy collections like Podgans and much more recently, his Reflection Collection. So again, since this arrives tomorrow, basically a free mint, make sure to enter this whitelist raffle. And lastly, we have Jack Butcher here with a new open edition over on base right now. This also basically free. It's probably like a buck to mint. And at this point, it's open for about eight or nine more hours. Guys, you know Jack from Opepin, from Trademarks, from Signature. Jack, one of the biggest, most important artists in this space in the past year here. Again, now with an open edition collection over on the base blockchain. And check it out because this one's so cool. In fact, if you view this on your phone, you can actually display it in your room as an augmented reality piece. So I'm going to grab a couple here just for the provenance. This piece, by the way, titled 1988. And then guys, I'm going to leave you here with this augmented reality piece of artwork sold for about 15 ETH just yesterday because this is a little taste of the future what's coming here. With the Apple Vision Pro, with the Quest headsets, guys, we're going to see a lot of augmented reality experiences. If you already play in those headsets, you know they exist already. But now we're starting to see artists really move to that space and explore and create all kinds of wonderful things, guys. So I'm going to turn on the sound. Enjoy this here for a minute or so. And before I go, guys, tomorrow we got the Little Noun Show at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We have NFT Live at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. We have Inside NFTs Live at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So a full day of shows. And of course, tomorrow morning, I'll be back with your morning market update. We'll hit on all the latest happenings because remember, if it's happening in NFTs, I'm bringing you inside. Until the next time, I'll see you guys. And what you just saw there, I can't stop smiling, by the way, but it's a new piece of art from Monster Mike. Absolutely incredible. Again, guys, we'll see you tomorrow.